there for all the demons. <laughs> You hide here, Velvet. I'm going back to help Celica. I'm so scared. Arthur, please! <laughs> You'll be just fine with these. Celica enchanted them herself. They'll give you the courage you need to survive. They will? Sure they will. Now, have I ever lied to you? I'll come back for you once Celica is safe. It's scary, but don't give in to fear. Don't despair, no matter what. I won't. I promise. After all, I'm Laffy's older sister, and you're a student. On that day, the world began to change. Men and beasts possessed by evil spirits, hunting and killing anyone they could. But even in the depths of despair, only two things matter to me. The taste of blood-soaked flesh. And revenge upon one man. Laffy, time to wake up. Uh, okay. Morning. I told you to stop calling me Laffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. Hmm, bit of a fever, I'm afraid. At least the new medicine's supposed to come today. Until then, you stay in bed, got it? What? Aw, but I wanted to go to the cape. Sorry, you'll have to wait. Can I at least read a book? Don't trouble your sister, Lafayette. I didn't mean to. Arthur, done chopping firewood? Yeah, enough to last through winter. But there's something else I need to take care of. Sorry, but medicine money will have to wait a bit. I can earn it myself, then. Bring down a few prickle bores, and I'll have plenty to offer in trade. On your own? 
Arthur's first maxim. Plans must be solid and reactions flexible. All right. I shouldn't doubt my students' abilities. Sorry to put you in the spot. I'm sorry, Velvet. Whoa, hey! What's everyone apologizing for? We're a family, right? Right. I'll see you later. I whipped up some porridge for you, okay? Be back by evening. Thank you. Be careful, Velvet. Rest up, all right? Don't forget to take some gels with you. I'll be fine. You just make sure. Don't worry about me. I'll be in bed resting. You better be. the hunt for prickle boars I'd better try the tranquil woods outside of town this is for Luffy's medicine so I can't mess this up Ever since the opening seven years ago, this world's really gone crazy. Famine, freezing weather, and worst of all, this demon blight that's turning people into monsters. I can't believe that people can really turn into those... things. It's a nightmare! Does no one know what causes demon blight? Or how to heal it? No. What we do know is that when people turn into those monsters, I mean, demons, they gain incredible strength and attack humans on sight. <sighs> Whoever named it the opening named it right. Come to think of it, Celica died during the opening, didn't she? It might be a good thing she died when she did. She didn't have to suffer through all of this. It's good that my sister died? How can you say that? Uh, sorry. I didn't mean it that way. You're a real idiot, you know that? Sorry about him, Velvet. Velvet, is Lafayette feeling better? No, not yet. He needs a little more rest, I think. Aw, too bad. Tell him I'm looking forward to hunting beetles with him again when he's better. Right, got it. Lafayette's illness sure is persistent. Yeah, that fever still keeps coming back, like clockwork. The medicine always helps a little bit, but still, that sounds terrible. Thanks, but we'll be fine. And before he came, Selica raised me and Luffy all by herself. So now I have to do my best too. You sound just like your sister. That optimism must run in the family. I do? That's nice of you to say. I 
should probably stock up on a few things before I go into the forest. I don't have a lot of money to spare, but like... The Demon Blight is a punishment sent to us by the Empyreans for forgetting the old prayers. Who are the Empyreans? The four Empyreans created the world. The one Empyrean shall bring it to peace. Be afraid. When contradiction permeates this world, the time of suppression will be upon us. Are you okay? Want me to take you home? No! Don't treat me like a child! All right then. Oh, it's you, Velvet. If you're going to the Cape, take care. Don't fall into the Shrine of Tranquility, right? I know. I'm not a kid. Of course, of course. You're 13 now, aren't you? I'm 16. Of it. Arthur hasn't requested his favorite dinner in a while. There's been so much going on, and the village always has him out hunting. Maybe he's just worn out? That does it! I'll cook him up some prickle boar stew, just like Selica taught me. That ought to pick him right up. A healthy portion of nourishing meat cures fevers and weariness alike. This area looks promising. There! Prickle Boar! Bye. 
Yeah, that's how it's done. The cold weather's been terrible on everyone's crops, but at least the city will buy our prickleborn meat now. Luffy and Arthur have been hoping the village could start raising them, but they can just be so temperamental. I wonder if they could be bred with more docile pigs. What would we call them? Oinkle boars? Nah, doesn't sound appetizing. What about Pickle Boar? Yeah, Pickle Boar! That's a cute name. Maybe too cute, though. We wouldn't want to discourage people from eating them. be enough to cover the medicine. I'd better bring these to the store. <sighs> this place isn't safe. That hole's gotten bigger. I've told them a thousand times they ought to build a fence, but they keep saying it's forbidden land. Even Celica used to scare me with it. She was always, this is a gateway to the underworld. Well, I'm too old to keep falling for that nonsense. As I hunted, are you there? <sighs> Maxim three, never waver once your sword is drawn. Control your feelings to control the tide of battle. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah! 
Cerus. An exorcist art. Pride and anxiety. Pity for the enemy. Thrill of victory. Your emotions run too hot. That will be your downfall. <sighs> Agreed. It's one of her virtues as well. Huh? Yes, I know. But even so, she's got to... Arthur? Arthur's fourth maxim. Never let your guard down, even when victorious. Got it. In any case, this should be enough to buy Lafayette's medicine. I'll drop the prickle bores off at the shop before I head out. Head out where? The person I was supposed to meet is late. I don't think I'll be home tonight. I came out here to let you know. You'll have to pick up the medicine yourself. Right. One more thing. I saw a group of demons near the village. If you're attacked, run away. Am I clear? No way! I, I can handle a bunch of- Demons can only be challenged by those with the talent for exorcism. That's the cold logic of the world, and no emotions can change it. Do you think I could become an exorcist? Why is it you think that birds fly? Why? Well, without flying, they couldn't find food. It takes a particular innate talent to be an exorcist. Unfortunately, very few humans have it within themselves. All right. Tomorrow is Selica's Memorial Day. I'll be back as soon as I can. Hurry back! I'll make you a quiche, just the way she taught me. Those prickle boars were brothers. Maybe I should have let them go. But then, how would I pay for Laffy's medicine? Hunting took care of that. And it means food for us as well. I had no other choice. It was a rational decision. But the fact that I'm still worrying about it shows that my feelings are getting the better of me. groceries yep and <laughs> you must have been out hunting yeah it was a good haul look at you lady breadwinner if you were a boy I think I'd be in love good thing I'm a girl oh yeah you want to do something about your style then uh yeah I kind of broke my comb so get a new one Sure, I'd like to, but... Hey, mister! How about a sale on combs for the pretty girl? <laughs> huh? Oh, you two need something? I'm fine, Nico. I'm just here to pick up medicine for Lafayette. Oh, Velvet. I already told Arthur, but I'm afraid the medicine hasn't come in yet. What? Why not? Is it because of the demons? Seems like the demon blight's really taking a toll on the city. There's even a group of them lurking around here now. When's it coming, then? I can't say. And I don't know how much it will cost. Oh, no. Ugh. What is wrong with Midgand? 
But don't they have an army or something? Those guys? The demons already routed them a while back. But we're safe here, right? After all, your brother-in-law's an exorcist. You so sure about that? Arthur can't even use his right hand anymore. Poor fellow couldn't even protect his own wife and child. Let me know when the medicine gets in. Uh, of course. For now, here, on the house. Velvet! You didn't forget, did you? You promised to teach me how to make your special key. You mean for that apprentice animal doctor you had your eye on? You were serious? Beyond serious! Please, this is life or death for me. But I thought your folks weren't keen on the two of you dating. Who cares what people think? The important thing is my feelings. <laughs> I like the way you talk. If I were a boy, I think I'd be in love. Darn right. Luffy must be starving by now. I'd better hurry home. Orthy and Russ seem pretty down today. I know. They've been whimpering like this for an hour now. Well, they've always been a bit wimpy. The other day, that kitty Rolo chased both of them up a tree by himself. They're hopeless. Whenever it's thundering out, they both dive into my bed, shivering. Orthy, Russ, shape up. <coughs> They're completely hopeless. Maybe. But they're so cute, so I forgive them. Celica taught you how to make your special quiches, right, Velvet? Yeah, but mine aren't nearly as good as hers. Don't be modest! They're fantastic! Simple, yet elegant. That's because there's a secret in the cheese and the dough. You should try selling them in Taliesin. I'm sure they'd be a hit. We could make them together and take them on the road! <gasps> we could even wear matching uniforms! Would it make more money than hunting Frickleboars? Definitely, maybe! Even more so if you could lighten up a bit in front of the customers. Then it might be worth a try. I do want to buy Laffy a nice heavy winter coat. Oh, don't be so boring! Think big? Hmm... No thanks. I you're impossible! Then again, maybe that's why your quiches taste so darn good. 